How to Beat Wonder of You. The most impactful thing to come out of Jojo's part 8 for me is without a doubt its villain, Toru, or more specifically Toru's stand Wonder of You. Consider one of the most terrifying stands in Jojo. This stand was possibly the hardest one to overcome in the entire franchise, a stand that's often within the top 10 strongest stands of most Jojo fans. Wonder of You's capacity to give misfortune and bad luck brings truly hellish implications to those who challenge or persecute Toru, or the human form of Wonder of you, Satoru Akif. In spite of that, I came up with a list of 9 stands capable of countering Wonder of You. But before I begin, place your star finger in the like and subscribe button so that the love train will secure you from the consequences of not doing so. Alright, let's go! Wonder of You is the only stand that can transform into a human. It is actually the stand's impersonation of the real and retired head doctor Satoru Akifu. In this human form, the stand is tangible and can be seen by non-stand users. While in his original stand form, he obviously cannot. Wonder of You is also capable of creating illusions of himself and decide who is or is not allowed to see them, but its primary ability is the calamity manipulation. The way it works is in case someone saw the stand's back in its human form and that person has the slightest desire to harm Toru, it will cause the persecutant to fall prey to unfortunate events. Oftentimes it results to the victim getting killed. Wonder of You can also touch an object and then this object will become the reason of your accident. For example, you can touch Mike Tyson's boxing gloves, and when Mike Tyson gets close to you, you will cuss him out because you forgot he was Mike Tyson, and then he will pummel you into a coma with those same gloves. As revealed by Josuke's power, attacks from any other dimension other than Toru's are not affected by the calamity manipulation. As such, all that 13 needs to do is attack Toru in his dreams. The possibilities for failure are definitely real, as Death 13 would have to have the intention to attack Toru in his sleep. But the fact that if you go to sleep with your stand active, your stand also goes to the dream dimension with you, makes things a lot easier for Death 13 to act on his killing intent. The same logic goes for this matchup. Because stands whose powers transcend the whole dimensional concept were proving to work very well against Wonder of You in Jojolian's final battle, and it makes sense because they're in different existential planes. That being said, Cream can take its user Vanilla Ice and everything the Dark Vacuum Sphere touches to the Void Dimension. Cream's biggest weakness is that the user is unable to see unless he pokes his head out of the stand's mouth, leaving Vanilla Ice vulnerable to attacks, but I believe he'd be able to corner Toru just like he did with Ponaref and Nigi. Hey yeah, this stand belongs to Poco Loco, a rather funny name, isn't it? And what I consider when putting Hey Ya in this list is that unlike Wonder of You that basically robs you of your luck, this stand gives luck to the user by advising him on what not to do to run out of luck. So if Toru's calamity manipulation were to be targeted at Poco Loco, it could be cancelled by a simple command from Hey Ya. King Crimson is the stand of the Italian Devil and Mob Boss Diavolo, and as you're well aware of, King Crimson jumps or raises time for 12 seconds. Diavolo would take advantage of such ability to foresee a calamity coming his way and do whatever it takes to avoid it. That cycle is going to repeat itself over and over again until King Crimson's fist has gone all the way through Toru's body. At the other end of the spectrum, there is Dio, the English god in his stand, the world. The reason I believe he could win this is very simple. He doesn't stop time for only 5 seconds, but for 9 seconds. That in and of itself is a massive advantage, and due to being a vampire, it would be of no difficulty for Dio to close in on Toru super fast and kill him, plus bad luck as in falling over and getting impaled, or crossing the street without looking and getting his head crushed by a truck, aren't going to do much to Dio because he's immortal. 
Chip Trick is a controversial pick for sure. He's kind of like a nomadic stand. In this case, he would be Toru stand. With that in mind, we know Wonder of You puts an end to those who have the intent to cause harm to Toru. Chip Trick is a stand whose sole purpose is to kill his user, so it would instantly activate the calamity manipulation, putting his ass on the line, obviously. Possibly even forcibly pulling Chip Trick out of Toru's back, which of course will kill Toru, as he would be left with a tore up back. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, or D4C, is the stand of Funny Valentine, the 23rd President of the United States of America. Its abilities revolve around alternate dimensions, but the biggest trick up Funny Valentine's leaf is the Love Train. The concept of Love Train is a gleaming barrier that rejects misfortune, in other words, the ultimate counter for all the calamities Wonder of You can delegate. Besides, Wonder of You is nowhere near the level of pure strength of D4C. Bohemian Rhapsody basically can bring fictional characters to life, but they are distorted and deformed versions of them. Their toughness is nothing to be scoffed at, despite being made out of paper. With no real reach limit, the stand can pull people into the story of their favorite character as their favorite fictional character and live the tale of which character. To be released, you'd need to kill the character you like that dragged you into the story in the first place, or you could draw a character of your own with the power to cancel Bohemian's ability, or you'd need to not know the story and the characters beforehand to not be held captive first off. It's not clear if those characters would be affected by the calamities or not. However, I'm going to give the win to Bohemian, just because of the number of characters. There are just so many of them that sooner or later they will vanquish even their mischance and get the better of Toru. And lastly, one of the most unique stands I have ever seen in Jojo. His uniqueness stems from the stand's neutral nature, as it depends completely on whether or not its compass is pointing to locky points or unlocky points, occasioning it to be an inconvenient stand for someone with little experience to have. Kenzo, the user of the stand, has proven to be quite the contrary when using Feng Shu's luck reading, consistently determining favorable points in space in which he is sure to not be hit by attacks, while also inversely making use of lock read to show unlucky spots that points to spaces where his blows would be fatal to opponents. An impressive stand when used to its fullest potential. Ultimately, I think he has what it takes to beat Toru in his stand. Well, that's it for the 9 stands that would defeat Wonder of You. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and as always, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, thanks for watching this video, I'll see you in the next one. Tell.